Hello and welcome to Classic TV Reactions. My name's Jason for any any new members that's just joined me and I do classic TV reactions of the 70s and 80s. Um, I, I also do new new shows. Uh, I'm just about to finish uh, season one of Cobra Kai so if there's any Cobra Kai fans out there. Um, I also do Only Fools and Horses and um, and we have, I've just joined forces uh, with my friend Wayne. It, it's got his own YouTube channel where he does reactions on. And we've just done episodes one and two of classic 80s um, Where's All Gummage, which which is really, really good. Um, we both had not seen them in years, so it was just a bit of nostalgia and a look back um, to see what to, to, to see what um, it looks like now and it, and it stood te the test of time very very funny uh, they're going to be going on in a couple of weeks and we've just finished um, assignment one of sapphire and steel as well uh, we are looking at doing um, some more reactions together so if there's anything that you want us to react to comedy wise sci-fi wise um, fantasy DC then just uh, comment below and we'll take in all the comments and we'll have a look and, and we'll see what we can do. Um, now for all the Red, now for all the Only Fools and Horses fans out there who was watching the reactions, um, I just need to say uh, sorry that um, they haven't been going on lately. Um, I've had a few copyright issues that I've had to redo a couple of them. And obviously with the holidays, it's just difficult getting the reactions edited because both my sons are off school for six weeks. So although I'm recording them still, um, getting the reactions down is getting a bit tricky. Um, so I'm hoping to get a couple more out over the summer holidays and then it'll be back to normal once they're back at school. I can just do them during the day, edit them down and upload them. Now a treat for any for, for anyone that remembers Tales of the Unexpected. I'm go, I've, I've uploaded episode one, which is the full episode, um, but there was a few copyright issues with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do reaction videos. So I'm just about to do episode two of Tales of the Unexpected. I'm also doing Friends reaction videos as well, and episode two of that should be up tomorrow. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. Check out my channel and check out my friend's channel as well, um, the Groomsby Reapers. Uh, we've got lots and lots and lots for you to look through. So here we go, episode two of Tales of the Unexpected. Now I've, I've, it's been a while since I've seen these, so it's just um, just a bit reminiscing really. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, you can definitely, you can definitely tell it's set in the 70s. This, the, these short stories was done by Ronald Howe, who was a great story writer. Remember watching him as a kid and he absolutely terrified me. It was just the theme music and some of the some of the music in it is just really haunting and but I just loved it at the end where there was the sting in the tail because you never knew what the sting was huh. it isn't three months already is it mm -hmm. good heavens how time flies <sighs> will you be away till Monday yes the weekend is usual mm -hmm. you don't think it's too much do you every three months she is only an aunt. I'm very poor, is that what you mean? I've nothing to gain. How long is it you've kept it up? Eight years. Eight years. Yes, well, there you are. I always admired you for your sense of duty. <laughs> poor old Auntie Maud. Eighty-four. One room, bedridden, penniless. <sighs> I'm only grateful you don't expect me to come with you. There's loads and loads of famous actors in this as well, so it'll be nice looking back.
it in a double line. Well, it looks like it. Ah. I have an hour. That is husband. Now that must. Oh, darling. I'd almost forgotten how ravishing you look. <laughs> Now, was that a lover or is it a husband? Come along, me darling. Time hmm? to wake up. Oh, what day is it? Monday. Oh, no, not already. Afraid so. Our time oh. flies. Business. Oh, I don't see how I can wait another three months. Mm. And what's that? I almost forgot. The Colonel asked me to give you this. Ah. What an enormous box. What is it? Was there a message? Did he send a message? No, hmm. no message. Oh, oh, thank you. Ah. Big character. Whoa. Bet that was a bit expensive. So what's she going to tell her husband? Darling, I once heard you saying you were fond of mink, so I got you this. Oh, a mink coat. I'm hoping it's a good one. Oh. Please <clears throat> accept it as a parting gift. <gasps> For my own personal reasons, I shall not be able to see you anymore. In the right-hand pocket of the coat, you will find an envelope for customs. You have nothing to worry about. The duty's paid. I just say that Auntie Maud gave it to you for Christmas. But Auntie Maud could never afford a present like this. Not in a million years. Oh, definitely not. God, what will I tell Cyril? <laughs> An idea is caught ahead. She's going to say she got it from the shop. Probably a second hand clothes shop. Yes. Ah, mm. uh, hello. Uh, oh, isn't it silly of me? I, I've gone and lost my purse. The banks are all closed now, and well, I, I, I just have to have some money. I mean, I simply need some money. She's going to call on it. Mm. How much do you want? It's mink. How much do you want? Uh, Fifty pounds. For a taxi. Still, that's your business. Okay. Fifty mm. pounds. Name? This is... Oh, no, no. Leave that out. And the address. You don't have to have a name and address, do you? I don't have to. But you know the risk. You lose this ticket, got no name on it, you're in trouble. How so? Anyone can get hold of this ticket, come in here and claim the article. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, All I they've got to do that. is to give me the ticket and I've got to give them the yes, article. Yes, I know. So you better not lose it. Oh, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> Good heavens, no, it's only till tomorrow. Yes, well, have it your own way. I've got a little surprise for you. You've always said that only Americans can mix dry martinis. Well, let me just try this. <laughs> Perfect. Go on. What? You were saying about Aunt Maud. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't think she's well. She looks awfully frail. Mm. You know, I had the feeling... I don't know how to explain it, but I had the feeling I wouldn't see her again. She's got to try and explain Darling, it away. I knew there was something I had to tell you. Look, I found this. What is it? I don't know. I found it on the seat of my taxi. It's got a number on it. I thought it might be a lottery ticket or something. Oh, crafty. You know what this is, don't you? No, I don't. It's a pawn ticket. A what? It's a pawn ticket. Uh, oh. Oh, this might be rather amusing. Why could it be amusing? Well, there's no owner's name and no description of the article. <laughs> you know how pawn tickets work, don't you? No, they sound awful. Oh, she's very good. Well, oh, tell me over dinner. I know Daddy, exactly what she's going to do. Please. This is now our ticket. My ticket. I found it. Well, what's the matter? The important thing is that we are now in a position to redeem. Whatever it is. Yes, but probably a ring or a watch. Oh, how absolutely thrilling. Now, just give me back the ticket and I'll rush over first thing tomorrow morning and find out. No, I think I'd better do that. Oh, 
No, I, I want to do it myself. No, I think not. I'll pick it up on my way to work. Oh, that backfired on her. <laughs> no place for a lady. Oh. Of course, it might be something entirely masculine. Pocket watch, cufflinks. Oh, in that case, you can have it. But if it's a woman's thing, I want it myself. Now, is that agreed? Agreed. She's very, very good and sly. No. <laughs> You're right. You just showed you just how his mind worked on old Al. His, just, uh, his stories was just so intricate and... Promise. Promise. Character building and... Ah. Oh, Isn't it exciting? Just a simple story just draws you in. There's no doubt about that. Just plan that so good. <laughs> oh, it's in here. So shut your eyes. Oh, Cyril, shut don't your please. eyes. Oh, very right. well. Stand there. Don't look. Mink. Real mink. Feast your eyes on that. Oh. Don't you like it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It really suits you. Uh. <laughs> Everyone has mink, my dear. No. So we're just waiting for the sting in the tail. And what is the sting? Oh. That's his assistant, I bet. Oh! Thank you, Mrs. Bixby. Oh, and then the penny drops. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. I really like that. I mean, I haven't seen him for a long, long time. Um, I mean, I was only about, oh, eight when I first started watching them, and they absolutely terrified me. But his stories are just so well written, you know, and I just love the stings at the end of each of each one of them. He was a brilliant short story writer. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, like and comment below. Uh, check out my playlist. Like I said, I, I have started doing joint reactions now with my friend from the Grimsby Reapers. So check out our Sapphire and Steel and also episode one of Where's All Gummage should be coming up within the next uh, week or two. I uh, really appreciate everyone that's uh, kept, kept with me and, and keeps coming back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> if you can just like, comment and share and just spread the word. I would really, really appreciate it. So, um, so look out also for episode two of Friends and the last two episodes of Cobra Kai, and then I'll be starting season two. Uh, so thanks, thanks again, and bye for now.